haven't got a pizza. <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome to another studio vlog. So I was just packing some orders and then this arrived in the post. So yeah, I'm very, very excited. I've actually been collaborating with No Issue and I've created some custom tissue paper. So that's what is in this enormous box. So yeah, I'm gonna open this. But first I thought I would show you like the process of how I created the tissue paper. So yeah, I've filmed a few clips, which I will roll now. I like to show you sort of how I come up with my designs, how the designs change, and if I have like any kind of problems along the way. So yeah, I'm gonna show you how I made the tissue paper, and then I'm gonna unbox this, and then I'm actually gonna show it in action and pack the rest of those orders. So yeah, hope you enjoy. So today I'm going to be working on creating some custom tissue paper. I think maybe I want to use like my cat designs that I did like for the pins. I will put up on the screen, I'm sure you see them. And yeah, I thought I might do some cats and some flowers and some stars. I can either do a block colour and then white line art or I can have a white background and then two colours. Um, also, I'm pleased because I'm standing up again. <laughs> I love how this is like an announcement, but usually I just, I sit down so much during the day. So I'm actually just really pleased that I'm finally, I'm using my standing desk. Like, if you don't know, my desk goes up and down, but pretty much it stays down. So like, I'm pleased that I'm actually standing up a little bit more. I'm gonna have a look at the tissue paper I've already got see what sort of size it is and how many pieces I would like to chop that up into. I don't want to get the tissue paper and my design is like huge and then I'm like slicing through it because I'm only going to use like a tiny section of that. So I'm going to get, I've got a massive ruler somewhere. So I'm going to get my big ruler and I'm going to measure <laughs> some tissue paper that I've got. But yeah, see if that can help me visualise what it is that I'm gonna do for my design. Right, so this is the tissue paper that I currently use, which is this lovely blue color. Ah, so this is actually the size pretty much of the smaller one. So the other one, I guess would be like double the size. That'd be huge. I need a bigger ruler. I can't even show you the whole <laughs> length of this but yeah i definitely recommend if you're in the process of designing some tissue paper getting like sort of laying out something that's the same sort of size but yeah so i end up cutting my tissue paper down so i have this size for my larger box and then this small size for the smaller box so basically I want my design to be kind of like readable within this space. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to design my artwork at this size first of all. This is the smallest size tissue paper that I'm gonna be using for my small boxes. And this will actually be like one eighth of the tissue paper. And then I'm gonna repeat it eight times to get like the whole sheets. And yeah, fingers crossed that will work. But yeah, the other thing I'm thinking about is that I am obviously gonna fold this tissue paper when I pack the order. So it's gonna be kind of like more like that. So again, that kind of like halves the area. Yeah, I really want to have the design quite tiny, I think. I feel like this might be a lot of trial and error as we sort of work out. I haven't even started designing yet. Okay, so I had an idea that it might be really nice to have some of my cats and then teapots and other things. So basically what I've been doing is I've been looking at things that I've already drawn, arranging them, and what I'm gonna do is just drag the opacity down and then draw over them. Yeah, this is just gonna be very rough as I kind of try and work out ideas. I probably should keep it simple, but I kind of want lots of different things going on and I just want something nice and cozy. So yeah, I thought if I have cats and tea and then some stars and other things like that, I thought that might be quite nice. I'm just drawing a couple of different flowers in my design and I thought what I might do is draw some different elements like some different cats, some flowers, some teapots 
and then I'm gonna kind of arrange them. Yeah, I really love the navy blue tissue paper, so I think I'm gonna go for those colors. And I haven't quite decided if I'm doing one color or two color, but I thought if I stick to one to start with, that might make it a little bit easier to just kind of focus on the shape. just literally tracing over drawings that I've already done and then I'm using the eraser to then do the detail and quite often I will lower the opacity so I can sort of see it through and use the eraser oh it is a super grey drizzly day today but I have been having a go and moving some different elements around. I really want to have some text in it as well. So I thought my name and like made with love. As I spoke about, I'm trying to design something that is gonna be like using the smallest section of the tissue paper. And then I'm gonna duplicate that several times. So this strip of tissue paper, I actually have, I put it like that way round. I might actually try changing like the direction that these are going to be going in but yeah there's lots of planning and i think once i've found something that i'm kind of happy with i think i might print it out just on paper and kind of yeah do like a test to see like how it's working <laughs> Okay, so I've just printed out this on just like rough printer paper. And so this should be about, yeah. Yeah, that is the size of the smallest tissue paper. So like I've mentioned before, when I get these sheets done, they're gonna be a lot bigger. So I'm going to sort of repeat this section, I think about eight times. I think I worked that out. The printer's making loads of noises. Anyway, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just trim this down, try wrapping something up with this, and just kind of see when I fold it, what it's kind of looking like. I might print one more of these as well, just to kind of test the bigger box, because the bigger one would obviously be double the size. I just like to do these kind of tests. Yeah, before you order something, or before you get something printed, it's Always a good idea, isn't it, to like test things. I don't know if I should do like this kind of sapphire blue or do more of a navy blue, but I like I like a dark blue anyway. But yeah, I think I think this is looking cool. It's looking very much like me because I've got my different things like my cats and pots of tea and stuff. Yeah, I've just added lots of stars and these kind of like little dots as well to like fill in the space. You know me, I love lots of details, so <laughs> but yeah, so let's um let's test this out on a box. Here's my test print. So yeah, so I'd put the tissue paper in. Obviously this isn't tissue paper, this is paper, so it's not gonna quite fold exactly the same. it's a bit more stiff. I want to see basically what parts of the design are on show. So let's return unpacking and order. I think I've done this at a good size because you can see like the cats, you can see the made with love and my name at the top and then I will seal it there with a sticker. Yeah, now I'm gonna try doing one of the big boxes so I need to stick two of these together. Which will just give me the idea of how it's gonna look. Okay, so that will just fold down like that. Oh. Let's have it that way. Okay. Yeah, so that will look cute. Cool. So, 
I think that's more or less what the tissue paper is going to look like. And then obviously as well I need to duplicate my one little bit of pattern eight times to make it the right size because otherwise it's going to be enormous <laughs> and I'll get like a tiny bit of the cat's head or something on this piece of tissue paper. So yeah, we're making progress. Okay, so I've just been duplicating this one little rectangle eight times and now I think what I want to do is like fill in these little gaps that are like between like the edges double triple check <laughs> everything and then I think we could actually order this okay I'm uploading my design very very excited okay we are back <laughs> So yeah, I'm really excited to have a look at this tissue paper. I was packing orders, so I need to move that out the way for now and then we'll resume packing. Okay, let's get, let's get into this box. You can see this is the current tissue paper that I have, which I just, I love using tissue paper to pack my orders. It's like having a present to unwrap and I just love I can't get into this <laughs> I, th I think tissue paper is such like a fun way of like making your packaging really exciting and also like it's recyclable as well you're not using any like plastic bags or anything Whenever I film these kind of like unboxing things, I swear it takes me like half an hour to get into a box. And when I'm editing it, I just have like <laughs> so much footage, footage to cut out. But yeah, this is the um, Emma struggles to open a box section of the vlog. I'm just building up the suspense really. Oh, okay. I think we're in. I'm excited already. I haven't even looked at it. Ooh. Ooh, let me show you. I might have to try winning a year's worth of tissue paper. <gasps> so what do you get? I've got some like little kind of freebies. So yeah, they also do like stickers and they do, this is a compostable mailer. Let's get in to actually having a look at the tissue paper. I can see a glimpse coming through. Oh, I'm really excited. <gasps> Ooh. I think it's gonna be so cool to have my own custom tissue paper design because I love putting tissue paper in when I pack the orders. But yeah, so if you followed me for a while, you will have seen my packaging change. So now I have these boxes that I pack things in. And I used to package things like pins in like padded envelopes, uh, like sort of bubble wrapped envelopes and stuff. And now I've changed to boxes for pins. If it's a sticker, I, I'll just put it in like an envelope like this. I really love having the boxes for pins and I just think it's so nice having like tissue paper inside because it just like makes it like a little present. So yeah, I'm really, really looking forward to using this. It's absolutely enormous as well. I think this is gonna last me a really long time as well. I went for the larger size because I'm gonna chop it up, but oh, look at it, so pretty. I love it. I've got all my cats on, like my bluebell cat, tulip cat, daisy cat, and then I've got my like sneaky magical teapots and other teapots and tea and flowers and lots of stars, of course. Oh, I think it's come out so nice and I love this blue colour. It's a little bit different. I chose a slightly darker blue. So if you can see the difference, it's a little bit of a darker blue that I've gone for, but I think it looks so pretty. And you could basically, you can choose 
pretty much any color tissue paper that you want because it's all done like by Pantone colors. And you have the option of either doing like one or two colors. Um, the white doesn't count as a color, so this is just one color. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna chop this up into different sizes for like my big box and my small box, and then I'm gonna finish packing my orders. I kind of feel bad for the ones that I've already packed. <laughs> Should I undo those and like put new, the new tissue paper in? the other way around don't I? Hang on. Hang on a minute. <laughs> I think I've cut the, this. What am I doing? I'm thinking I might have cut it the wrong way round. It was, let me, let me test out the small box first of all. Because the way that I want it is I want obviously the cats to be kind of like the right way around. So this, yes. Oh, that's fine. We'll work it out. <laughs> I'm just trying to work out how I need to actually cut this. So take two. And then I've got my stickers. Yeah, that looks really cute. And then you can see my name on it and made with love. And all the cats and teapots are the right way round. Oh, I think that looks really cute. I'm really excited to show Tom this actually. And Tom was very excited when he got his packing sticker. So I think he'll be very excited about new tissue paper. <laughs> Oh, I just love it. So if you've been following me for a while, you will have probably seen kind of how my packaging has like progressed and the different things that I've tried. Yeah, so first of all, when I was sending out pins, I was, I had these like metallic kind of like bubble wrap packages and they looked really pretty. Yeah, and then as things have progressed, like, and I've used them up, I've wanted to choose like things that can be recycled, like either cardboard envelopes, like these. So I send my stickers out in cardboard envelopes. But yeah, and then I got these boxes and I got this like paper tape that can just be like put in the recycling. You don't need to peel it off. I really like the fact that when you receive something, you can just like put all of this in the recycling or like reuse it. And yeah, I'm really, really excited for people to receive this with the custom tissue paper. I think it's gonna be like so special. How is nice <laughs> Yay! It's so big. It's huge, isn't it? I think I get like four, one? I get four of the big sheets, the big boxes, and then eight of the small boxes. Oh, they're really nice. It looks pretty, doesn't it? Are you excited to pack with it? Yeah. What does Tammy think? <laughs> Tammy's probably thinking, what's this now on the sofa? Is it something Is to sit on? No, 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 there's, there's like loads more upstairs. It's gonna like last quite a long time, I think. How many sheets was it? I want to say 250 
I'm not quite sure. <laughs> that's, a, that's like a thousand big boxes. Yeah, but it's, it's going to last and, a long time. And you time. don't use that many big boxes. No. <laughs> Very nice. Yay. Oh, that <laughs> didn't work. Ah! Yes. <laughs> so we've come to the end of the studio vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. And yeah, thank you so much to No Issue. I really enjoyed working with them. I think this tissue paper has come out so, so cute. I just, I love the quality. And yeah, I've got a lot of tissue paper. So, <laughs> so don't worry, it probably won't run out for a while. But yeah, so if you order something from my shop, it will have some of this new snazzy tissue paper in, which is very exciting. Um, speaking of new things, in next week's studio vlog, I, you're gonna see me design some new enamel pins. You're also gonna see me decorate the studio vlog because basically I've already filmed next week's studio vlog, but that was gonna be like my last one before Christmas. But then the tissue paper came, so I thought I would actually make this video and put that up before the other video. I'm confusing myself here. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and I am sending you lots and lots of love. I hope you've had a wonderful day, a wonderful week, and I will see you in my next studio vlog. Okay, bye. So I'm gonna get my big ruler, see if that can help me kind of vis, vis what's that word? See if that can help me visualize, visualize. I really need a drink, should I go get a cup of tea? Ow! Can I do it this way? Which way is it actually? I can't get in. I'm just building up the suspense really. I feel like I've got a pizza. <laughs> so we've come to the end of this studio. I oh think god it's still recording. <laughs>